Today I'm going to show you how to import your own hair and outfit models into my character creator plugin for Unreal Engine. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is download my Blender template character. You can find these in the product downloads section. Right click to extract the zip file. I'm going to show the example on a female character, so I'll open the F3 template. To follow this tutorial, you're going to need the Mesh Data Transfer plugin for Blender, which is free to download. I'll include a link in the description below. To install that plugin to Blender, you just have to download the zip file, and then in Blender, just go Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, then click Install in the top right, and direct it to the zip file which you download. Once this is open, click on this sphere up in the top right corner to make it render properly. Let's say for example that I have this bikini model and I'm going to transfer this over to the F3 system and bring it into the character creator. So I'm gonna select this clothing mesh in my other file and I'll press Ctrl C to copy that and then move to this F3 template file and press Ctrl V to paste. It's coming at a different scale than my character, so what I'll do is select both items, press S, and just scale that down until it roughly fits my character's proportions. And you can move this around with G as well. So I think there are some small areas which I need to adjust. Let's click on one of the items and go into sculpt mode. Turn on symmetry here. And then we can just use the grab brush to make this geometry fit the character. Once everything's fit properly, we're just gonna rig it to the skeleton. Select the item of clothing, and then shift click on the bones so that you have both the clothing and the skeleton selected in that order. And then we're going to press Control P, and we're going to do an armature deform with empty groups. Next, we copy the skinning from the body. So you'll notice in the template file, there's a, um, there's an object which is called F3 Master. This is what we use to transfer the skinning across to the clothing items. So click on that, hold shift to select the clothing, and then um, in the top left, go into the weight paint menu, click on weights, transfer weights, and then expand this menu at the bottom here. On the bottom left, click on nearest face interpolated ray radius you can set that to one and make sure this is by name these settings are really important otherwise the weights won't copy across correctly now to test it out we can go into pose mode and we can rotate the torso if you want to see the bones you can um, make this transparent by clicking this icon in the top right here and just press r to rotate it and it should stick to the character you can use this to make sure there's nothing strange happening with the deformation, like around the shoulders or the arms. If it looks okay, you can leave it as it is. Otherwise, if anything needs adjusting, you can click on the object, go into weight paint mode, and you can paint the weights here. I recommend only changing them very minimally because the character avoids any clipping by having the weights be very similar to the body underneath. If you post your character, you can reset the pose by um, pressing A in pose mode to select all the bones and then go under the pose menu, menu, clear transform all. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for the lower half. When I move the legs apart like this, the um, this part of the bikini is deforming um, a bit strangely. I'll go to object mode. I'll select the skeleton first, then I'll select the object, then I'll go into weight paint mode. And that means that I can now control click on the skeleton to adjust weights here. What I'm gonna do is reduce some of the weight that's being um, distributed to the leg bones. I will click on the um, pelvis bone there 
Then I'll make the weight one, but I'll turn the strength down so I'm only painting a little bit. Before we paint anything, we want to make sure that we're using the correct settings for the painting brush. This is where some things can go wrong with weight painting. In the top right of the screen, click on options and make sure we have auto normalize selected. This will make sure vertex group and up to one while weight painting so you're not over or under a weight amount of one. Then go to the brush setting. This is where we can choose whether or not the brush radius is a sphere or if it's projecting the weight all the way through the mesh, including painting everything behind where your brush is on the screen. So imagine your brush as like a ray and if you click. So for this, I don't want to paint the back. Um, I only want to paint the bit here that is incorrect. So I'll make my brush a sphere. I'll increase the radius a little bit. I'm just gonna um, make sure the strength is quite low and paint this bit here. And I think that's the best it can be. Go to pose mode again, press A and clear all transforms. So now that we've adjusted all of the weights, uh, we need to transfer the body customization morphs over to this item of clothing so that the sliders, for example, like the chest size slider, the weight slider, um, all of those sorts of morphs are going to work with this clothing. So for this we're going to use the mesh data transfer plugin that we installed earlier. If you click on the clothing item and go to the object data properties panel here, which is the green triangle, on the right hand side you should find a drop down that says mesh data transfer. For this source, use the eyedropper to select the body, sh body shapes mesh. Then we're going to change the sample space to world and click on transfer shape keys. You should notice all of the shape keys are added above and you can test them out by just dragging the slider. So here's going to adjust the chest size, the weight and others. I recommend looking through all of the shapes and just making sure that there's no clipping. Increase it to 100%, then go to the body shapes and increase it to one there as well. We can see there's a little bit of clipping here, so um, I'll click on the chest size pause target on the clothes, go to sculpt mode, and making sure that I have this shape key edit mode active, I'm going to use the grab brush with symmetry to just adjust this and make sure that it's not clipping. And I can also smooth out any areas like this where the shape didn't transfer across correctly. Now that we've added all of the shapes, the final step is to combine a section of the skin with the clothing item. So if we have a look under the body parts folder, you can see how the character is divided up into modular parts, which makes it possible to combine different clothing items within Unreal Engine. The bikini is the torso item, so I'm going to copy the torso sensor by pressing Shift D, and I'll unhide the bikini torso. Before I combine them, I need to make sure that the UVs have the exact same name, otherwise the materials won't show up correctly in Unreal Engine. So I'll click on the bikini, go to Object Data Properties, click on UV Maps, and I can see here that it's named UV Maps. When I click on the skin, that's also named UV map, so that's okay. But if it was named something else, I have to rename them to make sure it's exactly the same. Now I'll shift click both objects and press Ctrl J to combine them together. Now finally, I can import this to Unreal Engine. I'll unhide the skeleton, click on the clothing item, then hold shift and click on the skeleton. I'll go to File, Export. FBX, and then the export settings are going to be really important. You need to make sure it's limited to selected objects only. Only armature and mesh are selected here. Scale is 1, apply scalings all local, negative Z forward, Y up, make sure apply unit is off. Tick yes to use space transform and apply transform. Under the geometry, make sure apply modifiers is on. Under Armature, check these primary bone axes and very important, make sure you're not adding leaf bones. And I'll export FBX. Now over in Unreal Engine, I can import my item. So I'll go to Base, Models, and I'm going to import it here. So I'll just drag this into the content browser. 
When importing, select the correct skeleton, which is going to be SK Mannequin. We don't want to import animations, but we want to import the blend shapes. So click the advanced window and click on import morph targets. Under normal import methods, choose import normal. Under create physics asset, turn that off and select the PA Quinn physics asset. And when you scroll down under material import method, click do not create material and turn off import textures. Then import all. We can quickly check if this is working by dragging one of the blueprints into the main character creator scene, dragging them under actor, and then just zeroing out all of the transforms. Then click on the blueprint, go to the torso, and we'll go back to model and just drag our new bikini mesh in here. Click on apply instance changes to blueprint. And we can see that it's working with the character. Now we just have to set up the material. So I'm going to go to the materials folder and I'll just duplicate an, an existing material. I'll call this my bikini Naomi. And I'll go to the textures folder and this is where I'm going to import the textures. Then I'm going to go to my materials panel and open up that bikini Naomi material we just made. Drag the textures. Open the skeletal mesh, find the material slots and add the bikini material here. Press save. Now the material has been added. It's best to make the material color gray because then you can use masks to control the color. You can look at my other clothing materials for an example on how to do this. The last thing that we need to do is to add this new item to the character creator interface. To do that, we're going to go to character creator, blueprint. To do that, we're going to go to characters, wardrobe items, and open the wardrobe you want to add it to. I'm going to add this to the deluxe torso meshes. You can right click here and insert a new row. I'll double click to name this, so I'll call it Torso Naomi. I'll make this a torso item in the mesh wardrobe type. Display name will be Naomi Bikini. And then I'll search for the mesh here. So I'm gonna type in Naomi, F3 Torso Bikini Naomi. That was the one which we added. And then I'm going to save this. And then um, in under available for these body types, expand this window and this tells you whether it's going to show up in the UI for a male or female character. So because this is just a female item, I'm going to remove the masculine option by clicking on this arrow and then pressing delete. I'll click save, I'll delete this test character we put in the scene and then I'll press play. And in the outfits panel, I can see the item that we've added here. And you can see because we added the morph targets, it works with all of the body shape sliders too. Thanks for watching and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Bye!